Apple today announced major changes to its app ecosystem in the European Union, implementing updates that will allow iPhone and iPad users to download and install apps outside of the App Store through alternative app marketplaces. Now, alternative app marketplaces will function as an iOS app that is able to install other iOS apps on an iPhone or iPad. Any developer can create an app marketplace just as long as they meet Apple's criteria for customer experience, fraud prevention, customer support, and more. Apple's creating new APIs to build these marketplaces on iOS to distribute these apps to users. Apps installed through these alternative app stores will need to go through a notarization process that includes safety and security checks, which is how this all works on Macs. Apple will not charge a commission on apps installed through alternative marketplaces, nor will it charge commission for alternative payment systems, which are also allowed under the App Store updates in the European Union. Developers can integrate an alternative payment processor into their app that allows a user to make a purchase and check out entirely in an app and not have to go through Apple's app stores or anything like that. Or developers can link out to their websites where users can make a purchase. Now, this is only in the EU, so who knows when or if this will ever go uh, out to the rest of the world. It's possible. I think if this works out really well and people want that, uh, other countries might pressure Apple into doing the same thing, but that's all purely speculative. Right now, just in the EU, this is where these implementations will take place. Uh, and apparently it's going to start in iOS 17.4. Apple also announced that streaming game apps such as Xbox Cloud Gaming or NVIDIA GeForce Now can be available as standalone iOS and iPad apps. And previously these were available on your iPhone or iPad, but you had to use them uh, via the web. So you open it up in Safari, go to the website, and it's not a great experience doing it that way. Now, this is actually a worldwide change and not just for the EU changes. Developers can now submit a single app with the capability to stream all of the games offered in their catalog. Streaming game apps will need to maintain an age rating of the highest age rated content included in the app. And the apps will, of course, also need to respect all of the latest App Store review guidelines, according to Apple. Another change for the EU is that Apple is opening up the browser and giving users more choice over what apps and services they use as the defaults on their devices. Safari will no longer be the only default browser option available, with third-party apps like Chrome now able to be set as the default, similar to how browsers work on the Mac. Users in the EU who update to iOS 17.4 will be presented with a splash screen upon opening Safari that allows them to choose a new default browser. And lastly, as part of all of the EU stuff in iOS 17.4, Apple will allow apps to access and use the iPhone's NFC chip. So going forward, NFC payments will be available directly in apps without the need for Apple Pay or the Wallet app, paving the way for third-party payment services and banks to offer their own tap-to-pay solutions on Apple devices. iPhone users will be able to set a default app that will be activated when an iPhone is near an NFC terminal or when the side button of the device is double-clicked, which means native support for tap-to-pay payments that are not Apple Pay is now available. And honestly, I want all of these changes to happen in the US. Again, like I mentioned, who knows if that will happen, but there might be some uh, pressure from other countries if all of this goes well in the EU that could force Apple to maybe do this in the US or other countries. So uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. This is all very big news in terms of how apps work on your iPhone and iPad. So would love to hear from you down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.